hey guys let's have a snapshot of a very very important topic uh, which is asked in various competitive examination under environmental science uh, section so this is a very very important topic uh, we can see that is natural resources and under natural resources what are the important points that you have to uh, keep in your mind so let's have a quick review with the help of this uh, short box diagram so natural resource you can see uh, everything which is present in our surrounding uh, it can be biotic or it can be abiotic like uh, we talk about biotic like living organisms forests and uh, if we talk about uh, animals so these are uh, come under the uh, living and non-living if we talk about so you can see soil water air sunlight all these resources are natural resources and uh, we can also categorize them or in two categories the first is that is inexhaustible it means unlimited and its quality may be degraded and not quantity uh, but the second is exhaustible that is limited and both qualitative and quantitative it can be so uh, for example you know that uh, when we talk about inexhaustible so sun light so we say that sunlight uh, will remain for long period of time uh, and if we talk about the like water we talk about air so these are the natural resources which will remain for a longer period of time and uh, we, when we talk about the exhaustible so for this you know like mineral resource we talk about uh, coal petroleum so these are the resources which are limited okay so these are exhaustible so now uh, we can go further and see in exhaustible uh, natural resource there are two basically types first one is immutable that is the quality uh, not degraded by man's activities like atomic power, uh, wind power, precipitation, tidal power, etc. And second is mutable, means quality may be degraded by human activities like solar wat uh, water and hydropower. Like if we talk about now uh, the subcategory of uh, or subtypes of exhaustible uh, natural resources, so you can see there are two. The first one is maintainable availability depending on uh, method of use used uh, not replaced and the second is non maintainable where you can see total quality uh, remains static but we talk about now uh, the sub type of maintainable availability uh, for exhaustible resources so you can see it can be renewable and non renewable one so in renewable you can see perpetual harvest possible fertility of uh, soil bioproducts of land fresh water and uh, sea human power etc but non renewable ones uh, you can see once gone there is no replacement uh, for example we can say like wildlife now uh, we will talk about the non maintainable so non maintainable you can see its a quality remain static so this can be subdivided or its subtype you can see the first one is reusable and the second is non reusable reusable like a consumptive use of small like gems gold platinum silver iron copper etc but for non reusable consumptive uh, you can see use high like fossil fuel non metallic minerals gypsum sand salt etc so this is the snapshot for the topic of natural resource but uh, in upcoming videos i will also upload uh, the detailed lecture video on each and every topic okay related to natural resources but for now thanks for watching this video friends and yes if you have any query or any thought regarding natural resource so you can put your comment in comment box i'll be happy to reply you all thank you once again